In the broader markets, Websol Energy, uh, you know, that's not a stock we talk, talk about very often, but suddenly that stock has seen a sharp downtick. I'm just looking at it, I think, uh, you know, there were some results, I think, that came a little while back, uh, and they suddenly, a, in fact, yeah. Uh, 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 they did a preferential issue. Okay. Uh, I think it came last Friday, and I think we'd uh, spoken about it on Monday. Okay. Uh, they're basically getting into electric vehicles. Oh. Uh, it's done very well, I mean, uh, but... Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's... I think the stock price has not uh, been very electrifying, at least in this year. In this year, it's down 40% or, uh, you know, I think we pull up... Uh, last 12 months, in fact, it's up 35%, but I think if you put up, uh, you know, a, a chart of this year itself, I think it's down closer around 40% dot for 2022. Just thought we'll spot that one because it's falling on larger than normal volumes. But Prakash, you know, you track the auto ancillary space very closely. Asai India Glass, you know, Sonia had put out a piece earlier today um, you know, I as well had uh, covered it a little bit uh, earlier. It's uh, at a 52-week high, not a cheap stock, trading at very hefty valuations, but it's giving you a play on autos because your, uh, you know, glass in your car is coming from that. And there's a shortage of glass in the real estate space as well. Uh, you know, so any view on this stock, it's not cheap at all. Oh, yeah, but it's a great business. I mean, yes. it's already a five-bagger uh, in, in, in the last few years. Uh, and and you know when when uh, people thought that this was a business that was just a commodity conversion really didn't uh, have hold so much of promise. But the fact that they uh, straddle almost seventy percent plus market share uh, in the OEM side uh, gives them that kind of pricing power. And and mind you, you know new cars is what they thrive on, right? I mean they're not in the replacement market as much, uh, but. The, the the architectural segment, which is also something that they are into domestically, that is something which could probably be a very significant uh, addition in the years to come, but it'll take time. It's not something which is happening overnight, but every time uh, other commodity, other uh, building materials get expensive, uh, you know, you see the shift towards glass and as, as weather changes uh, get incorporated in the design part, this will happen, but it's just expensive, but keep it keep it on your watch list for sure. These are stocks that you buy into when uh, things are down and out and not specifically on the company news, but uh, overall in the market. But right now, yes, it's, it's done so well for itself. It's outperformed, uh, but but you end up paying a slightly premium valuations if you were to look at entering at this point. Hmm, it's done well. Uh, Anajil, my apologies. You said Websol, Webs right? Yeah. I mean, I sorry, I was referring to the micro.